Hello, Reading community. We hope that you're having a great week. Jumping right into our district updates. First, we have some great news around the Killam School Building Project. Uh, as you may know, at the recent town meeting, town meeting members voted unanimously uh, to fund $2.2 million to allow Killam to enter phase two of the MSBA school building sequence, signifying a financial and good faith commitment to support the Killam School Building Project. Phase two brings in a feasibility study to determine whether a renovation or a new build makes most sense for the community and also to evaluate some of our district-wide needs. Uh, the vote was an overwhelming sign of support. Uh, we're thrilled to move forward in this process. We look forward to keeping, keeping the community informed. We look forward to the conversations ahead about the project. And we, as always, appreciate the support of town meeting members and our larger running community. This is a really exciting opportunity for our town and for our schools. Shifting gears, uh, National Special Education Day. So Friday, December 2nd, it's National Special Education Day. National Special Education Day marks the anniversary of the nation's first federal special education law signed by President General, Gerald Ford on December 2nd, 1975. So celebration of this day officially began in 2005, uh, marking the 30th anniversary of IDEA. So Friday, December 2nd is a day to celebrate our accomplishments as teachers, administrators, students, and parents. Uh, so please use this day to recognize those who do so much to support our students. Next up, Festival of the Trees. So as you may know, uh, as a reminder, Reading's Education Foundation's Festival of the Trees will be held this weekend, and more information could be accessed through this flyer. Uh, REF also wanted the community to know that people can purchase tickets in advance through the Festival of the Trees website uh, to save the hassle of writing their personal information on the ra each raffle ticket. Uh, admission is good for the entire weekend, and they encourage uh, people who visit in the day to come back at night when the trees really sparkle in the dark and light up the room. Uh, there'll be food trucks, performances, games, and more. Uh, I look forward to seeing the community out at Festival of the Trees. Next up, some updates from CPAC. So a lot of this information here can also be found on the CPAC page, uh, on both the CPAC page and the Special Education Student Services page on the RPS website. Uh, the CPAC, uh, in collaboration with Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, will be hosting a parent orientation to learn more about uh, special education and civil rights review in our upcoming in our district. The parent orientation will be held at 7 p.m. on December 20th, and you'll see the written newsletter has a Zoom link to be able to join in. You can also contact Allison Wright with any additional questions, uh, and also there's more information about the civil rights review uh, on the DESE website, and more links also include a new written newsletter. Shifting gears to some updates from our health service department. So our schools have recently seen an increase in respiratory viruses such as flu, uh, RSV, COVID, and some other illnesses. Uh, so for the health and safety of all of our students, they've put together some guidance uh, that outlines some additional uh, uh, considerations during this time of year. So please take a minute to review in the written newsletter. Uh, also, Vaccinate Rx will host uh, both the flu and, vac and COVID clinic, a uh, vaccine clinic on Friday, December 9th from 2 to 5 p.m. in the RMHS cafeteria. And there's a link to register uh, in the written newsletter. And last but not least, uh, around an annual community menorah lighting, uh, there is a link here you'll see uh, at a flyer here around the first annual community menorah lighting uh, on Reading Town Common on Monday, December 19th at 5.30 p.m. And that is open to all in the community. We hope that you're having a wonderful week. Have a wonderful weekend. Go Rockets.